What's up, guys? Thanks for clicking on my video. I'd like to thank Georgia Air Guns for sending this gun out to me. And also Caliber Gun. They both helped me out with this video. And to show their appreciation for the Argus video and this video, they're actually going to let me keep this gun. So thanks, Caliber Gun and Charlie over there at Georgia Air Guns. Going to start off with some hardcore stats. So here's what Caliber Gun has to say about the Cricket 2 Tactical, now in production. Hello, Air Gunners. We are happy to introduce our new air gun rifle, Cricket 2 Tactical. The Cricket 2 Tactical exemplifies our eagerness to design the ultimate bullpup platform. The Tactical's carbon fiber bottles, available in 350cc or 500cc, have greater air capacity than previous Crickets for our, our highest shot count yet. The Cricket 2 Tactical builds on the Cricket 2's already impressive features, adding an integrated weaver accessory rail, side-mounted manometer, more protected caulking mechanism, and improved caulking action with simplified magazine loading. The tactical model also benefits from a redesigned pin style safety, a visible caulking indicator at the rear of the receiver, and industry standard integrated one half UNF moderator adapter on the muzzle. So that means you can add your uh, LDC anytime. The Cricket 2 tactical will be available in 177, 22, 25, and 30 calibers, and in the WTC stock. By now, the gun is being stocked and is open for dealer pre-orders. See more information on the product page. So you guys just go to calibergun.com and they have a super nice website and everything you need to know about this gun. Real quick, we're going to run through the hardcore stats and then we're going to whip this baby out and shoot it. So the Cricket 2 Tactical is available in 45 WTC and that's going to have a 450 millimeter barrel or 17.7 .7 inches. And this is a standard non-choked barrel, 12 groove, 17.7 .7 twist. The 45 WTC has a 350 cc reservoir, overall length of 26.8 inches, and it's available in 177 and 22. The longer barrel version is called the 60 WTC. It has a 500 cc carbon fiber bottle, comes in 22 caliber, 25 caliber, and 30 caliber, overall length of 33.1 inches, and it's going to have a 23.6 inch long barrel. And it's going to have a 23.6 inch non-choked barrel in the 22 and 25. The 30 caliber 60 WTC is going to sport a 23.6 inch polygonal barrel with no choke and a 29.9 inch twist versus a 17.7 .7 inch twist on all the other models. Magazine capacity. In the 45 and 60, you're going to have a capacity of 16 rounds in 177. 14 rounds in 22 caliber, 12 rounds in 25, and 10 rounds in 30 caliber. The weight on the smaller version is going to be 3.4 kilograms or 7.5 pounds. The 60 WTC is going to weigh 3.8 kilograms or 8.3 pounds. They both have a 300 bar fill, adjustable triggers, manual safety. The charging handle is changeable from right to left. The walnut stock has a mag holder integrated in there so you can hold two magazines in the stock. Synthetic cheek piece. And I think that's it, you guys. All right, let's shoot this bad boy. I didn't show it in this video, but you always have to clean your brand new air gun barrel with a flexible cleaning rod before you shoot it because there's preservative gunk that's in the barrel and that will affect your accuracy. So off camera, I did clean this gun really good with a crown saver and a patchworm. Caliber gun included a beautiful color manual with everything you need to know. All the different parts of your gun, how to fill it, how to load it, probably even some stuff I didn't tell you. And it's been fully inspected by one of their experts before it left the factory. You're going to get two magazines with your Cricut 2 and a nice fill probe. You are going to need a 1 8 BSPP quick disconnect foster fitting nipple. Holy crap. There's also going to be a link to the PDF of the Caliber Gun brochure. The Cricut actually comes in a bunch of different configurations with a whole bunch of different really awesome stocks. So definitely check that out. This gun surprised me. I mean, I was expecting a nice gun, but as you guys will see, this is definitely something special. And although it looks nice and it operates smoothly and it's fun to shoot, really what I'm talking about, you guys, is accuracy. That's all I care about. And as you guys are going to see, this gun definitely delivers. 
after shooting this gun, all it made me want to do is try more caliber guns. So, definitely super happy to get to try this gun out. It definitely deserves a spot in my collection, and you guys will see why. I ended up only testing one pellet in this gun for this video. I just happened to tune it in for 18 grand GSBs, and it shot so good. I just spent all my time shooting it up with the 18.1s. This gun comes with a standard one half UNF threaded shroud, so you can add any LDC you want on there. This gun does have the power to shoot slugs, as you guys will see, and you can dial it all the way down to shoot lightweight ammo like Crossman Premiers or some of your lighter JSP pellets. The safety button is actually made out of shiny red aluminum, so that's pretty cool. Of course, it has that beautiful caliber gun furniture. There's a magazine retention lever in the back. We'll go over that later. Caliber gun did tell me in an email that the caulking effort is actually three times smoother and three times lighter than the previous model. Okay, watch right there when I cock the gun. That's your cocking indicator. And then when you pull the trigger, it goes back down. If your gauge is at zero, you do want to put your charging handle back before you fill it. So cock that bad boy. You go on the other side, you got a plug, keep dirt and stuff out of your fill probe. You can see I added my adapter. Slip that baby right in there and fill your air gun up slowly. I got to actually take it inside because I'm doing it off a compressor. Once you fill it up, close your charging handle. Here's what that trigger feels like. First stage right there and then... Well, I guess, ooh, it's really smooth. Yeah, it's not much. We'll stick it on the trigger pull gauge and see. All right, you guys, I got the 18.1 three grain as a baseline. I turned my velocity adjustment all the way in. We're gonna go ahead and see what velocity we're shooting. And I'm gonna tune this thing to shoot, I guess, between 850 and 900. Down there at, stretching it out a little bit today. 43 yards away. Shooting from the magazine. Let's see if I'm even in the ballpark here. So to increase the velocity, you turn that velocity adjustment knob clockwise. Yeah, turn that baby down, so. There we go, 927. All right, so you guys, we're shooting 889 with 18 grain JSBs. Let's see what we're going to hit. Let me go put my camera down there. Well, first, let's see if we can get a group. I'd say we're doing pretty good. Oh, that, 
I just put it through the same exact pellet hole, you guys. That was awesome. This thing is smooth, too. This thing's a smooth shooter. Guys, I'd like to note that this is uh, 43 yards, not 35. And it's uh, windy conditions, not still. So let's go down to this other 22 caliber hole right here. This group I was still letting up my barrel and fine tuning my crosshairs. But at this point, I'm zeroed in. It looks funny through the scope when they keep going through the same hole. It's like laser guided missiles. So I probably want to do one click to the right, bullet impact right. Guys, the trigger and the harmony on this gun is just freaking awesome. Like, I don't feel nervous shooting this gun at all. It just, everything when you pull the trigger just stays still. Basically, I guess you would say that it goes through the bullseye without having to work for it. All right. I'm just doing three. Went through the same hole. You got a lot of bullseyes to kill. No, oh, it's the wind. This could have been me too. Freaking nice group. This barrel is just getting leaded up too, so um, you know, it, sometimes it takes a little bit to sight it in. Uh, and, and it is quite windy actually. Yeah, I clicked over one. I probably should not have. Wow, this thing's printing groups, you guys. Oh. Guys, I'm still at 230 bar. And I am putting some bent pellets in here. I don't know, we're on like our sixth magazine. thing about the wind is when I feel it kick up I can like cheat over a teeny bit forty three yards away guys this thing's not gonna miss a bullseye Oh, we're about 225, 225 bar right now. This thing's eating them for lunch, you guys. Holy crap. Holy crap. Take me to the Olympics. Holy crap. I'm still shooting off the same tank of air that I had when I started adjusting the velocity on the rifle. I still haven't refilled it. Check out this last group right here. That was me, you guys. Yep, sure as heck was me. I ran out of bullseyes before I ran out of air. This gun is still holding outstanding accuracy. That's it. Okay, so to get the magazine in and out, to operate this back little latch right there, you need to first cock this back. Now that will allow you to lock that. Oh, there goes your magazine. <laughs> so there's a smooth side to your magazine. And 
a geared side. You're going to load your pellets just like that, head first into the gear side with your smooth side forward. Slip that in from the left side. Now I'm not sure exactly how it's supposed to work, but when you center up the magazine in there, put this down, it's going to automatically pull that forward. And when you're ready to get your magazine out, just open your bolt. There you go. There's a little push button thing right there. And so it appears that when you put this in, you kind of push down on that. It'll allow your magazine retention lever to go forward. So there's two ways you can do that. All right, we've got mild wind, probably not more than three or four miles an hour. We got the Cricket 2 tactical set up at 60 yards, nailed it. So we're going to be shooting 18 grain JSBs around 885 feet per second at 60 yards. Look at that grouping though at 60 yards you guys. Alright you guys, this thing's shooting groups like most guns do at 35 yards and we're at 60 yards. I gotta turn down the magnification on my scope. That was a misfire. Where'd that go? Oh, no problem. Alright. I have to concentrate a little bit on this higher magnification. Boy, when I do my part, it goes right in the middle of the bullseye every time. And I, I put some bent pellets in this magazine too. Alright you guys, that's it. I'm not going to sit here and shoot all these bullseyes. I think we uh, know what would happen. Pretty freaking awesome, 60 yards. Still at 60 yards. Take these guys out real fast before we start our real trick shooting. This will be a trick shot warm up. I'm gonna hit this guy right in the middle. Put a smack down. <laughs> All right. And there is a glass ball, a glass marble right there. So I'm aiming downhill. I'd want to aim a little bit low. I think I nailed it. So here's some trick shots at 60 yards. I am going to miss a couple of these shots, 
That's because when I get a good gun that shoots super, super good, sometimes I'll get too relaxed and I'll actually stop aiming properly. That's a dime on top of a penny on top of a nickel. It's more of a 35 yard trick shot, but we're gonna try it at 60 yards anyway. So that's what happened here, but I think at least 18 of these 20 shots hit their mark. So that was technically a miss because I was trying to shoot the hat off her head. But I think this next shot makes up for it. A dime off a penny off a nickel. This next shot is going to hit right next to the nickel, and you'll see it's going to break the zip tie that I have holding this bar on. And then this one, I missed it. I hit the bar a little bit too low. Just a reminder you guys, Charlie over there at GeorgiaAirGuns.net is going to give you better personalized service than a big box store. So, Including the fact that anytime you call, Charlie will answer the phone so you can talk straight to the owner if you've got any questions about anything. Alright you guys, the wind's blowing pretty good and the scope cam just completely poops out when you get past about 50 yards. So I just sat there tried to adjust it for like 30 minutes. Seventy-four yards away. Call it seventy-five. Let's go ahead and shoot some groups. I'm gonna start out up here. See where we're hitting. Seventy-five yards. I got my parax on seventy-five right there. Eighteen point one three grain JSPs. So right here, I decided to shoot a group just to see what would happen. Pretty good for 75 yards, but it gets better. Right after I got my scope fine-tuned, check out these next two groups that I shot. Wow, you guys, that's one heck of a uh, five-shot group right there. 75 yards, I just finally got in the groove there. 
Do that one more time. So yeah, you guys, that's reliable dime-sized groups at 75 yards, and it wasn't just a, a, a couple lucky groups. I shot this gun off camera, and you can sit there and do that all day at 75 yards. Super amazing. The other thing I want to mention is that I put at least 25 magazines through this gun, and I did not have one flyer the entire time. So that's like a whole ton of pellets, not one flyer. This gun does not shoot flyers. Okay, 75 yards, but I'm going to hit all these guys in the head. This chicken's head is about the size of a 30 caliber pellet probably. <laughs> that was awesome. I <laughs> did it again. Hit a little teeny twenty five caliber chicken head. Maybe thirty caliber chicken head. 75 yards. All right, you guys, that's it for me on this one. Final thoughts on this gun are that I don't know how you could ask for anything more. If it's going to get dime-sized groups at 75 yards, it's obviously going to do better than 1-inch groups at 100 yards. So, sub-MOA gun for sure. Definitely worth the money. Last thing I would mention is with that velocity adjuster, you can tune it for any pellet you want. You could shoot crossbeam premieres out of here. You can shoot slugs and everything in between. So the adjustability is another thing I love about this gun. All right, you guys, I'm going to get out of here. Thanks again for tuning in. And thank you to Charlie at Georgia Air Guns. Thank you to Caliber Gun for hooking me up with this gun. And all the rest of you guys out there, stay safe. And we'll see you on the next one.